Hey everybody, it is your boy NCS07 here, uh, welcoming you back to another video. So, there was a period of time where I was actually thinking about making a video on Rockstar. You know, Rockstar Games, the people who've made GTA and Red Dead Redemption and whatnot. And I was going to actually make a video talking about how they've been really not good lately and how I feel like Rockstar has gone to crap. <laughs> but uh, recently they have done a couple, th a few things that are actually pretty good. And I wanted to kind of talk about those today. Now, um, I know the video is titled like Rockstar did something right finally, but it's like, or something like that. I don't know. I'm not sure. But even so though, I am still going to talk about uh, both sides, like both bad and good. But let's get the bad out of the way first, because I think we all understand the stuff that makes Rockstar not so good. Uh, if you paid attention to their game output within the last decade compared to like the previous decade, in like the 2000s, they had four GTA games released. GTA 3, uh, Vice City, San Andreas, and GTA 4, all released between 2000 and 2010. And there were like a couple other spinoffs as well, like Liberty City, Liberty City Stories and Chinatown Wars, a bunch of games. Then you look at the 20, from 2010 to 2020, it was GTA 5. That's the only game that they released. Grand, they did re-release a couple of their older games, specifically the PS2 GTA games, unlike other consoles, like the PS4, but it wasn't really that impressive. And GTA 5 released in 2013, and <laughs> they're still re-releasing it. Like, it made sense, like, okay. Let's, fa let's rewind back to 2013. Now, GTA 5, when it very first released, was only available on 360 and PS3. This was the same year that the PS4 and Xbox One were releasing, and those systems were not backwards compatible. So, it made sense that they would eventually port the game over to those consoles, and then eventually port the game even to PC. But, <laughs> very infamously last year, in 2020, in the PlayStation Showcase, or not the PlayStation Showcase, but the PlayStation 5 event that happened in June, uh, one of the very first things they opened up with was GTA 5 Expanded and Enhanced. And this definitely got people happy. Like, even though PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are backwards compatible with the previous generation systems, they're still re-releasing GTA 5. And Expanded and Enhanced, except not really. At least not from what we've seen. And honestly, and this is probably the main thing that people talk about when in terms of Rockstar really not doing stuff well. It's very, very clear that they've milked GTA 5 to death. It's very annoying. And it's just... I don't really need to say much about it. I mean, they did in the hell, the game was originally supposed to release in November of 2021. But they ended up delaying it. I just want to ask... How the hell does a game get delayed when it's already released? <laughs> I find that really weird. And even when they showed a second trailer that showed a little bit more about what the expanded enhanced version of the game was, not really much. <laughs> they didn't really show much. Like they showed character changing was faster, but it's not even that much faster compared to the PS4 version. What so it's like, what's the point? It, it, it's just not very good impressions. It isn't out yet, but I'm pretty certain it's going to be complete garbage. But, yeah, a lot of people don't like that. But, this was supposed to be a positive video, so what are the positives I can say? Well, uh, if you guys haven't uh, heard, uh, I believe it was like last week or something like that, uh, Rockstar announced that they're going to be doing a GTA, uh, the PS2 trilogy re-release collection. Basically, they're going to compile GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas into one package and release it on all current platforms. PlayStation 5, I believe PS4, uh, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, I believe PC, and also, most importantly, the Nintendo Switch. Now, w now, the, now the thing is, these games have already been released on some of these other systems, like I mentioned before. So, why the importance? Well... Specifically that Nintendo Switch version that I'm talking about. Now, I know a lot of people who play Rockstar games probably just play 
PS4 and that and GTA is probably the only game they ever play or spend their time on. But even then though, the idea of having GTA on the Switch, being able to murder policemen on the go in a video game format would be awesome. That sounded a lot worse than it actually is. It's actually not very good, but even so though, being able to have a GTA game on the go is really fun. Like we had them before, like we had like Chinatown Wars and Liberty City Stories, but those are more so side games than anything. And there were those mobile versions of the GTA PS2 games, but those, <laughs> they aren't that good. Like I've got, I have GTA 3 on my phone, but it's not really that good. It would be a lot more fun to play the game with an actual controller. And I think the Switch is just a perfect home for it because they, honestly, the Nintendo Switch just makes a lot of sense for having the big open world games. It just, it's perfect because you can play the game wherever you want, exploring these worlds. And I think that having these three PS2 games on the Switch is such a good idea. Although it does kind of make me question why it took them this long to do it. It's a little weird that they took that long when they could have done this like years ago, but Hey, I'm not complaining. At least they're doing it. And this is also the first time in like forever that we've had a GTA game on a Nintendo system. Most, let alone a mainline title. Like we haven't gotten that like since like what? GTA 2 on like the Game Boy Color. But so it's really awesome to see this, that they're doing this. Honestly, and like, don't get me wrong. Rockstar still has a lot of mess ups. And they're still nowhere near a great company because seriously, just the fact that they're doing a Nintendo Switch version. I mean, every company should be doing that. Like every company that makes games nowadays should be making Switch versions of their games. Why are they? <laughs> it's not making Rockstar special or anything like that, but it is good to see. But those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you guys are going to be getting the GTA collection for Switch or maybe even another system as well. And if you guys want to see more GTA content from me, then hit the like button and subscribe. Even though I don't really know exactly what kind of content I would really do. I don't know. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Take care.